Thanks for joining us. I'm Karen Greer and for George Estevez. Hello, I'm Wendy Corona. So let's get straight to that Channel 2 Action News exclusive. People in a local apartment complex say squatters are breaking into their homes and even being violent. This is happening at the complex off Peachtree Street and Ralph McGill Boulevard in downtown Atlanta. Channel 2's Courtney Francisco is there live and Courtney, you started looking into this after you got calls for help. Yes, residents of this downtown Atlanta apartment complex say squatters have left them feeling imprisoned in their own home. They think that management isn't listening, so tonight I have answers. It's horrible. It's horrible. Violent squatters have invaded the commons at Imperial Hotel, according to residents. We have had five fights in this building within the last week. And all the fights are from people coming inside of the building. Each night, they say the intruders gather outside the high rise when management leaves. When they're ready for bed, they use a crack in the sliding glass door to activate the motion sensor on the inside, and the door opens. I'm living in fear right now. They shared photos of people sleeping on couches in common areas and shattered glass after they say they heard gunfire. Are these people violent? Oh my God. Yes, they are. Some tenants did not yes, want to show their are. faces or share their last names, saying the squatters are known for attacking those who called them out for breaking the law. I know somebody's going to die eventually, and I don't want to be me. Atlanta police records show 124 calls for help here so far this year for reasons like criminal trespass, suspicious person, and fight in progress. They're in and out, knocking on board doors, shaking your doorknobs and everything, and it's really scary. Columbia Residential manages the complex and responded to me, listing several actions taken to improve safety, like on-site security from 6 p.m. to 6 a.m., seven days a week. While the statement did not mention fixing the cracked door that allows entry, it said a Additional access controls will be installed on elevators and stairwells. I, I've gotten to the point to where I'm fearful. I, I'm afraid to live in my own, come out of my own apartment. Residents say security here is not consistent. They want a person at the door 24-7, and they want visitors to go through a check-in process. Reporting live downtown Atlanta, Courtney Francisco, WSB Tonight. Just to be able to feel safe at home. Courtney, thank you.